Hey guys, it's uh, Trevor from Trevor's Outdoor Angling, and today we're going to go over my five, or well, yeah, five favorite fall bass baits. Alright, so today um, we're going to talk about some baits that I like to use in the fall, you know, um, the transition between summer and fall, I mean, they kind of fall in the same area of fall. So, they, um, <clears throat> more of this is more leaning towards the middle of fall, you know, uh, it's, it changes up uh, quite a bit from fall to winter. That's a hard transition to make, but, uh, from summer to fall, it's a little bit just a subtle, slow, um, or subtle, slow change of baits. Um, but as you can see here, we're going to start off with my, one of my favorites. It has to be just a six inch, five inch. Uh, red, uh, watermelon red flake, Senko. Um, I usually like to fish this whiteless. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'll do a wacky rig or, uh, you know, I'll, uh, just, you know, mainly weightless and wacky rig. I'll do a, you know, just the Texas rig style. Just, most sometimes, you know. But, uh, <coughs> secondly, I like to move on to, uh, Scribble Crankbait. Um, so, Specifically, like a white color. I don't know why. I like white is one of my favorite bait, like color baits in the fall time, or more natural, like shad or like bluegill color stuff. Um, they, uh, if you if you don't really know a whole lot about fall bass fishing, it's really similar to spring bass fishing. Uh, the bass go up shallow. Uh, they feed real heavy right before uh, winter. The reason is, is being is because when you know winter comes, it's real cold and hard to find any sort of bait fish to feed on or any sort of uh, you know any sort of life in in the water it seems like everything's most dying off so they um, they find as much as possible get real fat so uh, it's really easy to catch fish in the, the fall um, simply because they will bite a lot of reaction baits or any baits that you throw out there um, <clears throat> like I said they go shallow so when it comes to deep fishing, you know, really fall, you just want to hit those banks pretty hard, you know, um, lay downs, anything like that, they'll be stacked up in there, especially those big ones. Um, next, I'm going to go with a jig. Uh, the reason I just picked up this black and blue one, it's the first one I found in my, uh, in my tackle box, you know, you'll, you'll fish a black and blue around, you know, whenever it's muddy water, or, uh, it's, you know, but, a uh, swim jig, uh, throw in a, or casting jig, just any sort of jig, kind of you want to throw uh, in some pretty thick cover or something like that this is this right here is a uh, strike king swim, or hack attack jig I think and uh, it's one of my favorite jigs uh, but really I love throwing the swim jigs probably performs either the best in the spring or in the fall which they both are very similar like I said before but fall is probably my favorite I just like to swim this through the grass or right by a lay down just throw it diagonally or I mean not diagonally but I mean, horizontally to that lay down and just fish it across and uh, usually you'll pull up the big ones with this one right here. Uh, next we got a chatterbait. I personally am not much of a chatterbait fisherman. I like to uh, fish them in the fall and in the winter still. I like to do it in that transition period. This is probably one of the baits I'll pick up through all throughout winter and fall and you know even early spring. Uh, this is probably a uh, I mean, I don't fish it a whole lot, but it does seem to catch fish whenever the fishing gets tough. Uh, it, the white, you know, you can't ever go wrong with white, white and chartreuse. Um, these really do work well. I like, I mean, you can pretty much fish it like a spinnerbait or right by the, uh, the grass. Um, pulling it through the grass probably does, its, it makes it, you know, succeed the best. Um, I like to throw it if there's any sort of grass left, you know, even though it's dying out. You'll throw it out in those grass patches and pull them up through there. And I'll add to that about the, in a second, but it's okay. Anyways, so then, last but not least, I like to throw a spinnerbait. Um, like I said, the white spinnerbait really succeeds well. Um, I just showed you this chatterbait, which basically does the same thing as the spinnerbait. The thing about the chatterbait is it doesn't put up a lot of flash. Uh, the spinnerbait just you know emits more flash nothing different it's more of a personal preference kind of deal I like to throw both in the fall but um, 
I probably lean more towards the spinnerbait simply because I have more confidence in it. But the, the chatterbait does work really well, especially pulling it through grass. Um, but yeah, in the fall, just really trying to imitate natural bait fish uh, like shad and bluegill and any sort of you know natural bait fish that's in your lake uh, is probably the best. Um, going shallow, hitting those banks really hard. Uh, try to stay out of the deeper waters. Um, but really, yeah, that's, that's all I got for you guys. Um, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get with you some with some more videos next week or sometime this week. I'll try to do some more for you. I've been kind of slacking and stuff. The water's been pretty high, so I've been trying to do as best as I can, but I'll get some more videos out to you guys, so uh, peace.